Right, morning YouTubers, Facebookers and Instagrammers. I thought I would do a little bit uh, video this morning um, all about how I like to start my puppies off. Now, I don't have a puppy to show you today. I know people love seeing puppies and they don't tend to listen to me rant on unless I'm holding a puppy. So today I've got a pigeon. That's the best I can do. Anyway, what I wanted to talk uh, primarily about today is the order in which I like to go about training my puppies. Uh, now, I'm saying puppy specifically because if it's an older dog, you often have to do things go a completely different way. But we're at that time of year now where people are perhaps are breeding something themselves or buying a pup in. So I thought it was a good time to talk about that specifically. Now, I spend a lot of time continually talking about retrieve. Retrieve, retrieve, retrieve. For me, it's the foundation of everything. I've done videos like this before talking about it. I'm sure people are pretty fed up with me talking about it, but it is absolutely everything for me in those early stages. Now, I have three different things that uh, I like to do and in a certain order. And it's probably a different order to what people often do or think that they should do. Um, so for me, I'm looking for a good strong retrieve that's out and back and then a good interaction with my pup. That is the most important thing for me because that uh, can branch off into everything else that I do. Once I've got a good retrieve, then I want to teach that dog to hunt for that retrieve. Meanwhile, I'm not giving the dog lots of other freedom. At that point, the dog is only getting freedom within the garden space, which uh, is where it can go to the toilet and never ask anything other than that of it. So, i.e. the garden is just for going to the toilet. Um, so, I've got a good retrieve. I'm now going to teach that dog to hunt and find a retrieve in and around my feet. So, myself and my dog are already learning to interact together. That has become the game. That has become the, the good, fun thing to do together. Now, obviously, you can't teach that dog to hunt for the retrieve until you have a good delivery, which is why that retrieve is so important. Once I've got that dog that can uh, move around in front of me and we can do a few retrieves and we've got a bit of interaction, I can start to get the dog to change direction with a little bit of gentle encouragement and then it finds a retrieve and then it brings it back, pick up the pup. I might roll it out in front, cover the, uh, the dog's eyes so it doesn't see, pop it back down again, a little bit of a hunt again. Once I've got that dog able to sort of go three or four meters in and around me hunting for the retrieve and that is the game, I can then think about putting a lead on and getting a little bit of lead work done. Now that starts off in a very small amount. Now, this all, all this I'm talking about is probably taking me up to about four months in age, probably, uh, I, I suspect. Now, you know, that's not uh, written in stone, it just depends on the dog. But meanwhile, what I am not doing with the dog is putting a lead on it and taking it for lots of walks already, which is what everyone seems to do. Um, that is what is probably most likely going to end up corrupting your dog. So, assuming and I've got a good delivery with a retrieve and I can get the dog to hunt in and around an area on a bit of grass and a little bit of wood and it comes back with a retrieve. And I think, okay, I'm going to put the lead on, I'm going to get a little bit of lead work done. I like them to be that little bit bigger before I put the lead on. That way they're a bit more robust and I don't have to sort of uh, pamper in and around them so much. So I can just get on straight away with that lead work. And as soon as I've got them walking nicely to uh, heel on the lead, I can get them sitting. Meanwhile, a lot of people will be, the first thing that they will be doing, sorry, is probably trying to get the dog to sit. I'm generally not interested in that at that stage. I'm only interested in that retrieve. That retrieve that goes into the hunt, the hunt that then can go into the lead work, and so on from there. So up to the age of about four months, those are the three things that I'm interested in. Meanwhile, I am not giving that dog lots of freedom. That is the fatal mistake with these working breeds of dogs, specifically the Cockers and the Springers, okay? You want them to know one thing and one thing only, and that is how to interact with you. As soon as you start giving them a bit of freedom and taking them on little walks, which seem lovely and harmless, they are slowly eating away at your dog's attention for you. The hard bit is that you've got to do a, a very specific amount of something very small, and there's a lot of time where you're not doing very much and you just have to be patient in that area. So you're using your crate if the dog's inside. Yes, you can have them out regularly, but put them away regularly. Don't have them out all the time. Those are the things that are corrupting your dog all the time. Now, if you've got this far to the video, into watching this video, sorry, maybe you will pay attention and listen to what I've said, but a lot of people will have switched off by now because I'm not holding a puppy and I'm not getting it to light cigars and jump through hoops. Um, but generally, that is how I go about it. And most of the problems I see with other people and they come and see me, I never ever get. And I put that down to those early, uh, early weeks of training where I really uh, focus in on a couple of things that are really, really important. And there's a lot of time not doing much else. And that is the key, being patient. 
okay? Patience, patience, patience. Honestly, I just say that all the time. People want a pill to give to their dog that's just gonna work like that, and it just doesn't exist. It's hard work, a lot of restriction, and focus work in certain areas. Not for very long, maybe only, like for the first time I put them on a the lead, it might only last 30 seconds. Okay? But what I'm not doing is exposing the dog to lots of other things that are going to corrupt your tiny little bit of hard work. Anyway, if you made it this far into the round, I hope you like. Remember to subscribe and give me a like if you can. And I'll try and make some more videos again soon, maybe with a puppy in it this time. It'll keep some of you happy. Cheers, guys.